Welcome back to the AB Scout Project. I'm Krieger. And this is Off Bravo. And today, today's backdrop is the packaging for the HasLab Victory Saber that I just got in. And we're going to start with the small guys. Uh, we'll talk a sec about the backdrop. What I've shown here is the G1-ish side of the opening. But they also had a metallicized with the art on it. Other side of the box that I'm going to play for you here. But it looks really cool. The whole packaging scheme was really cool. The way everything was stowed away. But anyway, let's come back to the MicroMasters, Holly and Fire. These, of course, are two of the members of the rescue team, which they announced with the Desaurus <laughs> crowdfunding that they're, you're going to get the Pippo and Boater. So you'll have the full team eventually if you bought the Desaurus, which... Since this arrived right before Death Horus closed, uh, I went ahead and backed it. So, <laughs> a year from now, we'll be doing the Death Horus review. <laughs> so, anyway, we got Holly here. And these, of course, are just recolors of MicroMaster Moles that we had from Siege. I mean, here is the Road Police from the MicroMaster 10 pack. And the Red Hot from the... Rescue Patrol from Siege. And you can see that they just changed the colors a little bit, changed the paints. But essentially, they're the same molds. So, we'll take a quick look at their vehicle modes. Alright, here we have Holly and Fire in their vehicle modes. And these are much like we saw in Siege. So, we saw it with Stakeout, and we saw it with Road Police. And uh, here's Road Police. Here. So a lot more black added just so it looks more like the anime. So pretty neat. All right, we'll look at the fire. And of course, they it's still a push to make a military vehicle into a fire truck, but uh, uh, we'll suspend disbelief for that. <laughs> they put a ladder on it. I mean, that counts for something, right? <laughs> and here's the red hot. You can see, aside from a shade of red different and a, actually more paint apps on the retail release. I mean, just in that uh, window area. You know, not much different. So, again, that's probably because in the anime they didn't do a lot of detail painting because, you know, they had a lot of cells to shade. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and go to our final thoughts. So is this our new Holly and Fire? Well, since we really didn't get a Holly and Fire before because they were just repurposed Stake Out and Red Hot, I want to say yes, because these actually come in the correct anime colors and such. Even though they are still a little short, and that's going to be kind of a theme for this package, but that's we'll save that for later. Because, you know, this is our chug human size with the Siege scale. And we see the uh, MicroMasters are just a little too short. So, I mean, they need to be at least human-sized for to, you know, play with human kids. But they're pretty close, so we'll let it go. <laughs> All right, so our new G1 Holly and Fire are the HasLab Victory Saber set. All right, let's go on to the next thing. Next up, we're looking at Victory Leo. This guy, of course, is the rebuilt form of the Jinrai after his spark was renewed. <laughs> so, after, you know, another Optimus Prime died. So, but he looks pretty good. This is actually my first Victory Leo, so this is kind of cool. So, uh, he has a quick 360 of him. Everything stows away pretty nice. Of course, the V-Lock Cannon, you know, in this configuration can go in any 5mm port. Which, one thing, this is this guy is great. He's He is rich with 5mm ports. You can uh, have tons of fun with the combat system with him. So, I, I like that. You know, combat system and the Blast Effects, probably my two favorite gimmicks that Transformers has, has you know, ever done. <laughs> but, uh, looks pretty good. Articulation-wise, he does, his head is not on a ball joint, just the way that, because this thing has to move for transformation, so it's only a swivel joint. Uh, the arms, you know, can do pretty much everything you want. 
even a wrist swivel there. It's tight, but there's a wrist swivel there. <laughs> uh, the legs, you know, can go out. <laughs> Had a weird transformation joint time thing, but uh, nice tight ratchets on them. Good knee. Ankle tilts are just the front of his foot there. I mean, granted, they can go to extreme, but it's just his toes. So he has toe tilt. <laughs> but anyway, overall, pretty good. All right, for some size comparisons, we'll go ahead and bring in Earthrise Optimus, since we I never bought the Perfect Effect kit, so I don't have a Jinrai. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, originally he's supposed to be the same size as Star Saber, but uh, he's actually a little short. We'll show that when we get the Star Saber. But not too bad. He still looks like an upgrade from the Optimus mold. All right, comparing to the current winner, the KFC, which is about the same size as Star Saber, which is about the same size as MMC's Overlord here. Go ahead and raise the camera. You see, uh, yeah, that's a uh, well short. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and let's look at his vehicle modes. And here we have Victory Leo in his jet mode. I don't have any analogs for the KFC, so we're just going to look at this. And it looks like G1. It doesn't look much like a jet, but it looks like G1. I mean, you got uh, everything, the, the smaller cannons, the V-Lock cannon, and... So everything, it's, uh, it looks like G1. That's all I'll really say about that. You can see the robot underneath. But, I mean, for a guy that's, you know, built just to be a magic mushroom, it's not too bad. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and look at his lion mode. One quick cut from the edit bay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the Optimus in here. Earthrise Optimus here so you can get a size comparison between the two and just get an idea I mean, it's kind of look like this that could be a trailer for him <laughs> anyway now we'll go to lion mode and here we have victory leo in his lion mode and uh winging lion <laughs> and anybody else getting voltron vibes anyway looks pretty cool the v-lock cannon and his shoulder cannons mount on here pretty easily and he looks really cool I mean, it, it's pretty much a fall-on-your-face uh, animal transformation, but uh, small tweaks in the legs otherwise. Anyway, the, not much articulation in the back legs. Pretty much just kind of the transformation joint here and a uh, single joint here, single joint here. Uh, the arms, of course, are the robot arms, so you've got tons of articulation in those. You can uh, move the fangs if you want to. The fangs that are under the jaw. Uh, the mouth moves a little bit. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. All right. And of course the wings can flap, you know, <laughs> whatever you want to do with them. Overall, I like him. It looks really neat and uh, very much G1, just like the jet mode. And this is definitely a more purpose-built alt mode than the jet is. All right, let's bring in the Earthrise Optimus. So you can use a size compare on these. And you can see, that's a little bit more fair. I like that. Overall, pretty neat. All right, let's wrap this guy up. So is this our new G1 Victory Leo? Or IDW G1? I think he works for the IDW scale. G1 scale, he is a bit short. But overall, to make my conclusions, we're going to wait until we're done with Star Saber before we talk about who the actual winners are going to be. So, the winner is push to next round. All right, let's go ahead and start with the next one. Next up is this little guy, the Brain of Courage, and he is tiny. As you can see, he's only a little bit taller than Alpha Bravo's head. And here is the uh, Gundam Micro Wars as a comparison which is this one's about the same size as the masterpiece brain of courage so you can see just a little bit shorter than the masterpiece and you know of you know all of this scale figures but you know pretty tiny 
his transformation is just, you know, take the face that's on his back and pull it up. <laughs> and uh, there's his brain mode. <laughs> well, we'll get to that when we get to Saber. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can get a close up on his details here. You can see they did put some little tiny gold paint, paint apps in the blue and the red. So, overall, not too bad for such a tiny figure. So, let's go ahead and get him back inside a saber before I lose him. And uh, we'll be right back. And here we have Saber. And he looks pretty good, really close to the animation. Not too bad, everything stows away pretty well. Of course, he's got his uh, actual sword base shield and his smaller gun, which is the smaller gun for the <laughs> Star Saber mode. But overall, pretty neat. I think he looks really neat. Uh, the head actually does turn because the whole chamber that the Brain of Courage sets in turns. So it won't look up or down, but it does, you know, left or right. The arms, you know, aren't on a ball joint in there, a really tight ball joint, but they can do everything. Everything. The only thing that's missing is a swivel just because it rotates in there. Inside this, uh, <laughs> there you go. Now you can see it. But the, you know, that's kind of the same thing the masterpiece did. It does have a waist swivel. You know, everything else you'd expect. So, and it's very slight ankle tilt in there for that whole assembly. But overall, not too bad. All right, let's look at some comparisons. Our current IDW winner is the Planet X, which is uh, a lot shorter, actually. Of course, this makes a lot smaller component of the hull, but uh, yeah, a bit smaller. All right, we'll look at Earthrise Prime, just kind of the uh, gold standard of where we think a leader of a group should be. So he's uh, pretty short for that, too. Go ahead and move him back there, and let's pull in Bulkhead. Now, Bulkhead is here representing the Masterpiece Saber. So while it's still a little short of the Siege scale, the Masterpiece is actually pretty close to where we want Saber to be. So, and if you look at the scale charts, Saber should be the same height as Optimus Prime. So Masterpiece is definitely the closest. All right, let's look at the Jet Mode. And here we have Saber in his jet mode. And it looks very G1-y. <laughs> Actually looks really good. I, I like it. This is the most convincing jet mode out of the pack. And Saber will fit in the canopy. So, or the Brain of Courage, I should say. Fits just fine in the canopy. There doesn't seem to be any type of locking mechanism in there, but he does fit. So he does a 5mm port so you can put the gun on. Uh, more 5mm ports down here. So overall, pretty good. Alright, we'll do some comparisons. Get the Planet X Saber Jet in here, which is uh, less convincing of a jet mode. <laughs> but it's IDW, so you, know, you, could, uh, you could take some liberty. He never showed up in IDW, so they were at liberty, and they just kind of took a stab at what they could do by pulling the chest out. <laughs> And like I said, don't have the masterpiece, but the <laughs> Earthrise Ramjet here is about the same size as the MP. And you can see this one is a lot smaller than the MP. So, definitely a small jet. All right. Let's go ahead and get our final thoughts on them. So is this our new G1 <laughs> Saber? Again, we're going to wait till we get to the full Star Saber, so push the next round. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at Star Saber now. Now we're starting to get into meat and potatoes of this. Here is the HasLab Star Saber, and I think he looks really good. I mean, it has everything from the animation you could want. It comes with a shield, a gun, a sword. A sword's pretty neat, so you can kind of mount the blade like that, and 
you know, use it, turn it to the side like a kind of traditional sword. You can rotate it around like the original toy had to be. And you can also take the blade and mount it sideways in here. So they can have traditional hilt and an actual usable blade. So I like that touch. Uh, the shield can mount like this onto his forearm. It can also use his five millimeter peg to go into the hand. The hands are also pretty cool because they did the uh, jet fi siege jet fire gimmick where they open up and the five millimeter port disappears, kind of. But uh, <laughs> you see it just come right back out. Let me put that back in there. Quick 360 on him, and you see his profile is really good. I mean, no kibble back there as far as I'm concerned. The backpack is so slight that it's not even worth mentioning. Tons of combat ports. Man, he just, it looks great. And you know, these his antenna can flap in and out, so that's really neat. I like him. His articulation, his arms don't go out, but they do have a nice heavy ratchet. Have an elbow swivel, elbow bend, wrist swivel, waist legs that you got to move these really stiff hip skirts out of the way very much big high kick and on heavy joints thigh swivel knee joint the uh ankle tilt is very slight i mean it's just a neek i mean it's really slight so well Put him down there and get him back situated. Yeah. Yeah, the, in the turn mode, the blade doesn't like to stay very well, so we're just going to stick it back in there. There we go. I like him. I'm standing up straight. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here. I'll bring out the Earthrise Prime. And you can see this is kind of the old leader size. So... Pretty good. He has toes like to come up a lot too. So take him out. Bring in the IDW winner, the Planet X. And you can see here's G1 and here's where IDW went. So definitely two different aesthetics. And uh so you decide which one you like best. I like them both. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at our current G1 winner, which is the Masterpiece Star Saber, which is about the same size as Overlord here. And we see quite a bit shorter, I must say. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the V-Star mode. And here we have most of the V-Star jet. <laughs> and it looks really good. It kind of sits down attitude, but that's why you have the flight stand. But we'll cover the flight stand at the end of the video. But anyway, it looks really good. I like it. The head the head doesn't rotate out like it did in the, the original G1. It actually comes off and pops onto here. And But otherwise, it looks pretty good. Kind of... Hollow in the back, but we got a <laughs> victory Leo for that. So that's pretty cool. The uh, cannon actually shows in the instructions to be mounted here, but I like it better down here and it seems to mold better with the rest of the jet. But otherwise, really cool. So let's go ahead and uh, get a little comparison here. We're going to bring Ramjet back in to where the... Uh, <laughs> where the uh, masterpiece sits. You can see, yeah, masterpiece is gonna be a lot bigger. But, uh, <laughs> but this is manageable, so I like it. And then we'll get to go to full V-Star mode. We gotta take the shield off here. Actually, before we go into that, uh, my only complaint about this is that there's no place to store the blade portion. I mean, with the original G1, there was a slot right here you could stick it in. And with the MP, one of these I think one of these shoulders came up and you can stick it in. But otherwise, there's just not 
really a place to put it. So, but anyway, back to the full V-Star combination. We take out the shield, we move that out to the end, plop that up. For some reason mine likes to stay down when it's down. But anyway, bring in our Jet Mode Victory Leo, and there's a slot, slot here down into a peg, so you kind of got to stick that in there. And kind of slide it down, it'll push the booms apart there. But once it gets down to where it's supposed to go, it'll pop right in. So do that. Then these two tabs go in these two slots here. For some reason that hole's looser than in the rest of the holes, but we'll finish this out here. Take the shield, mount that back on. Put our cannon back on, drop those, and there is the full V-Star effect. And that's pretty cool. I like it. Flip the wing out. There we go. There's a full effect. <laughs> Just one big old Dreadwing-ish style combination of ultimate destruction of evil. <laughs> Anyway, let's get to our final conclusion. Now we come to the final decision that we've been skipping for several segments now. <laughs> the conclusions. Okay, as far as IDW, IDW is easy because, you know, of course the Planet X is the only one that looks like the IDW. So the Planet X is still our IDW Star Saber. So we'll take him out. Now for G1. This one gets a little sticky. Because Star Saber is supposed to be really tall. He's actually... Here's a scale chart showing where Jetfire should fall next to Star Saber. And we see if we bring in the Megaform Sky Guardian. The only reason why I keep this guy around is because he is the actual Siege Supreme Height. So this is where Jetfire should actually be in the Siege scale. And you can see he's a little bit tall, so the Masterpiece is just a smidge short. But his head is supposed to be about chest level, which it comes close enough. So the Masterpiece is just about perfect for scale. So in the straight Siege scale of things, Masterpiece and the KF, with the KFC uh, Victory Leo is going to be your most scale accurate chug star saber now if we look at these guys here we can see we still have a problem because look again by the scale chart victory leo and star saber should be the same size and we fall short of that here where the masterpiece and the kfc meet that even though kfc is like slightly shorter but it's not really worth uh, getting in the weeds about so Chug scale, the winner is the masterpiece with the KFC. As far as affordability, when I bought these, these were half the price because you're going to spend $400 on eBay getting the masterpiece and the KFC right now. Uh, of course, now that the campaign is over, long over, you're probably going to pay 400 bucks to get the set now. So, uh, price is a wash. So right now, I'm going to say G1 is still the masterpiece because you're going to get a lot more stuff, although there is a lot of repairs that have to be done. Uh, people have said they have uh, QC problems with the HasLab set, but I haven't had any problems with mine. Uh, but just for if you were at the right place at the right time to get the HasLab, the HasLab is half the price, so I'd say get that. This also is basically more of a functional scale. Not a correct scale, but a more functional scale as far as sitting next to your other figures instead of having, you know, giant Star Saber next to your Deluxes that are down here. So this right here is a lot better scale to scale as far as a functional. 
the masterpiece is correct. This is better functionally. Uh, for me, the Haslabs are going to be out because I don't have the masterpiece and don't want to spend the $400. But <laughs> long story short, get the masterpiece if you want to be very scale strict. If you want it to fit on your shelves, get the Haslab. All right. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Victory Saber and the stand, and then we're going to wrap this up. All right. For me, this is where the rubber hits the road with this set. I mean, the full Victory Saber combined mode. You got the flight stand here that fits up into his butt, so it stands really good. No matter what pose, you can put him in whatever dynamic pose you feel like putting him in, and you can put him on the shelf like that. That's cool. And then add in the jet fire <laughs> recolored effects there and it just looks really neat and spin them around there so you can see the full see where it attaches up there and see the victory leo backpack and the extra booties and this flips around so you can use it with the v-star mode to mount so overall really cool <laughs> yep let's get our wings out there and again, tons and tons of ports. So if you want to, you can bring back in our Micro Masters. We'll flip that down there so you can peg them on places if you want to. You can put them on there. Yep. So you can just have the whole set attached so this is really neat even got the extra weapon storage back here got the sword sword on the hip so i just like this this is really good this is my first victory saber owning my uh, one of my grails is having the g1 victory saber but for now i think this works for me so even though he's too small i like him i think it was worth it and I think I'm going to enjoy it. So, thanks for joining us today on the AB Scale Project. If there's a character you'd like to see, put your request in the comments below. Although there aren't too many left. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, ring that bell, all of that good stuff. And we'll see y'all later.